But I will tell you, the reason why, who's surprised by that? When you look at the Clippers as constructed, they actually could do better than they did last night. Yep. What I'm saying is the surprise is that Boston, with Kemba struggling from the field, with Jalen Brown struggling from the field, a guy like Jason Tatum steps up and reminds you that when we talk about young potential superstars in this league, we can't eradicate him from the conversation. His, his rookie year, he was incredibly impressive. Then last year, it took a step back. You talk about Kyrie. I talk about Gordon, uh, uh, Gordon Haywood being inserted into that starting lineup prematurely. But never, whatever the reason, Jason Tatum was compromised. And so now we're back to this year. We're seeing him ascending again. Mm -hmm. And if he's ascending to the level that we saw last night, well, you understand Kemba's not going to shoot like that. You understand that Jalen Brown's not going to be yeah, like that. But, but if Jason Tatum that was a plays for, for Forget the Western Conference for a second. If Jason Tatum consistently looks the way he looks last night, and I'm not talking about 30. It could be 25. But if he looks like that. They're going to get Philly problems? They got, they that's got problems. Why, yeah, no doubt. Philly got problems. That's why Philly's got you're problems. surprised. I'm not surprised. I, I try to tell you about Kyrie last year. Blame, blame it on Gordon Hayward. When Gordon Hayward is on the court or off the court, with injury or without, this team has played well together since Kyrie left. It's not a knock against Kyrie per se. Kyrie is putting on this year, if you watch the Nets, like, oh, my God, it's the best show in sports, basically. It's not that when he's Kyrie's played. When he's right, played. when he's played. But, but the introduction of Kemba, who's a better teammate, according to most, not quite Kyrie's skills, but <clears throat> approximates a lot of that, would, let, would take the handcuffs really off Jason Tatum. Look at Tatum's development with Hayward and without Hayward. I'm not yeah. surprised a bit. Right. Hey, this, this is what I was I, anticipating but I think when the guy's not was, sucking the oxygen out of the room. Everyone was all Philly. But I, no, that, yeah, no, yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm still with Philly. I'm still, I'm still with I'm still Philly still. as well. But we can't ignore Milwaukee. Yeah. And to Max's point, here's the important point. Again, highlighting one last time, the disagreement between he and I with Boston is he blames a lot more on Kyrie yeah. than I do. I look at the decision by Brad Stevens and Danny Ainge to insert Gordon Hayward into that yeah. lineup. But to buffer your point, Max, I will tell you this. I am not hearing good things about Kyrie in Brooklyn. Already? I'm talking about you're hearing. I haven't spoken. Listen, you're just hearing about the mood. That people are putting stuff out there. I don't think it's fair. Huh. I don't know how accurate it is. Yeah. But I am telling, I, if Kyrie's listening, I'm telling you there's stuff circulating out mm -hmm. there about him from an attitude perspective. I don't think it's right. Maybe he's but frustrated it's having now. to carry it's the load. third team now. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.